Right, okay. You may have seen me talk about this book before on the channel. And this is the O'Reilly book, Hands-On Machine Learning with Scikit-Learn, Keras and TensorFlow um, by Aurelien Geron. This is a really, this is the second edition. This is a really good book for learning machine learning. But I don't want to talk about that today because I want to talk about the GitHub associated with this book, which is full of so many fantastic things. And one of the resources is it, it gives you what you need to know in order to be able to tackle this book, which includes a brief introduction to NumPy. I say brief, it covers a lot of what you need to know um, in order to be able to use NumPy, and it's free. So I just wanted to share that with you, and I wanted to show you some of the other things that are in this wonderful GitHub repository. So let's have a look at the screen now. And this is uh, the hands-on ML2 tools NumPy. And you can see, I mean, there's a lot here. We go all the way down. It covers a lot of what you need to know about, about NumPy. But let's just go back up here. So it takes you through how to use NumPy, um, talking through about what an array is and then various different methods that you can use to create arrays in NumPy and then how to uh, generate random numbers. And there's just so much here. It's really good. And you know, if you don't know NumPy, it'll be a fantastic resource. If you do know NumPy, you still might learn something from it uh, because it goes, uh, you know, it covers a lot of the functionality uh, which you know you may not know about. So that's one thing that I wanted to share with you. And there were a couple of other things down here. It's got tools matplotlib, tools NumPy, and tools pandas. So it'll give you an excellent int introduction to all of those libraries. So that's matplotlib for plotting. NumPy for uh, handling matrices and doing linear algebra, and um, Pandas, which is really good for just kind of you know data manipulation and uh, exploring your data and getting your data into the sort of shape that you need it in. So data wrangling. Uh, if we have a look now at the matplotlib one, and here it is. Look, here's a table of contents: uh, line style and color, saving a figure, subplots, multiple figures, pie plot state machine, implicit versus explicit. Um, and have a look at six and seven because that can be quite confusing. I think these are really good learning resources and you might not know they're there uh, because you might not look at this repository unless you've got this book, but actually the repository on its own uh, almost but it makes the book unnecessary, not quite. Uh, and if you do want to buy the book and you're interested in learning machine learning, it's probably a good book to buy, but the repository is fantastic. So go and take a look. Oh, and of course the links are in the description. I've got to say that bit.